What's going on guys? So we are talking CEI Camber Energy here in today's video. Currently a four out of 10 on the tip ranks smart score scale. I wanna dive into some of the latest news. Also what investors and traders are doing and then some key levels on the chart that you should be watching out for. In terms of top investors on tip ranks, we're seeing over the past 30 days, more portfolios holding, but the last seven, we're seeing a decrease in portfolios. All investors, kind of a different story. We're seeing kind of across the board, slight increase in portfolios holding CEI. Okay, so here are the latest press releases. Out today, we have this right here. They disclosed their communication from the New York Stock Exchange. Over the past couple months, I've had issues filing some financial reports. So now they have extended the deadline to December 17th, 2021 to get up to date with the New York Stock Exchange to remain listed. Um, this could potentially get pushed a little bit further up to a maximum cure period of May 20th, 2022. Uh, that will also require some more talks back and forth with the exchange to make sure that they're allowed to do that. The thing that we have to also talk about here is some of the recent updates from the CEO. So the CEO put out a video update right here. I will leave a link to this video in the description box down below if you guys want more information. This is actually very helpful to understand what's going on behind the scenes with CEI in terms of their relationship with Viking Energy Group and other companies and essentially kind of why this process is taking super long. And they have a new auditor who they like a lot better and it's been taking a while for them to kind of get all the information across and so that's why it's been taking some time now that said i'm gonna leave this link down below check it out it's a good video to watch he's been doing a good job at least as of late updating investors on kind of what's going on behind the company this is actually recent okay so that'll be down below let's take a look at the chart here's our chart on cei currently trading at 146 147 as we're filming let us know in the comments what cei is trading at when you are watching this video so big run-up that we saw months past pulled back pretty hard in october and it's kind of been flatlining and slowly downtrending so far throughout November. But the past couple of days, look at this volume uptick on the 16th, 17th, and so forth. We've been seeing a little bit of an uptick in the volume, and CEI has been pushing. We are right at resistance. Yeah, we got kind of rejected here on the 17th. Couldn't break up over 150. We're right there again. So if CEI can get over 150, that's key. We want to see it start to hold over 150. We have an indicator right here, the 50 period that's simple moving average at looks like 163, 164. That'll be another area to watch as resistance on CEI. Beyond that, I'm going to draw one more line in here for CEI, which was where we kind of got stalled out last time, just shy of two bucks. So up over these levels right here into the low 190s will be another area of resistance to watch. And then beyond that, we'll be looking up into the low to mid twos as areas to watch if the momentum continues. So, so far today, we've traded roughly 117 million shares. Uh, we had just over 280 million shares on the 17th. If we can push over that level on CEI, that would be a great sign. So seeing the volume pushing up over 200 million shares per day, uh, that would be a really good sign for the momentum to pick back up on CEI. And a rule of thumb, you know, you kind of see across the board with a lot of, you know, professional traders is that if you're talking about a stock that's got over 200 million shares traded that day or in one day, it's probably a really risky short. It's a lot of volume. And so is it really worth the short side of that trade? And so that's kind of the danger if you get there for the shorts who are looking at this stock uh, as a shortable idea or as a short play uh, for their portfolios. Got some really good support here down towards $1, kind of dipped down to one and have held that level. It's also the 200 period simple moving average. So that's kind of our range for right now, down towards one, up towards 150. We need to break up over that 150 to see more moves to the upside. Then you want to see it holding. If it just breaks above and then it comes right back, it's not really ideal. You want to see it breaking above and holding. You don't want a failed breakout. There you guys have it. Let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on CEI, what it's trading at when you're watching this video. We're going to leave links down below to a technical analysis trading course if you are interested. Also leave links to Weeble, which is this platform right here. Get a bunch of free stocks when you sign up. Moomoo, another platform to get some free stocks similar to Weeble. And then Public, a competitor to Robinhood that does not sell your order flow. Links to all those platforms and more in the resources section or also just in the video description down below. Check those out, guys. And we'll see you guys in a future video. Hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing and we'll see you next one. Peace.